Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we've got some exciting news from the tech giant Google. They've just announced a major revamp to their AI chat experience. Wow. And it comes with a brand new name. You're watching Absolute. Let's dive into the details. So, what's the big news? Well, Google has officially bid farewell to Bard, its AI chatbot, and embraced a new identity, Gemini. No more confusion with Shakespeare references, Google has decided to keep it sleek and modern. But it's not just a name change. There's more to this transformation. Now, let's be honest. Bard was not the most inspiring name for an AI chatbot. Sure, it had its merits, but it didn't quite convey the seriousness that Google wanted to associate with its AI endeavors. The whole experience, though not bad, felt somewhat nondescript. And let's face it, no one associated Bard with cutting-edge technology. The renaming isn't just about aesthetics, it's about clarity. Google's CEO Sundar Pichai explained that Bard, now Gemini, has been the gateway for people to experience their most advanced AI models. To align with the high-tech core, Bard is now simply called Gemini. So Gemini is not just the name. It represents both the language model and the entire AI experience. Now, this is interesting when you compare it to Microsoft's approach. Microsoft uses GPT-4, the language model behind ChatGPT, for different applications, each with its own name. Google aims to simplify by consolidating everything under one name, Gemini. But wait, there's more. Google introduces three Gemini models, Nano, Pro, and Ultra. These aren't just fancy names. They represent different sizes of the models. Nano is designed to run on mobile devices, while Pro powers the Gemini chat experience. But you might ask, what's the K difference between these three? The three Gemini models, Nano, Pro, and Ultra, offer different capabilities and are suited for various needs. Here's a breakdown of their key differences. Size and complexity. When we talk about their size and complexity, Nano is the smallest and most efficient model. Runs on low-power devices like phones and tablets. Handles basic tasks like translation, text generation, and simple Q&A. For Pro, it's a versatile mid-range model. Powers Bard and performs well on diverse tasks like creative writing, code analysis, and complex questions strikes a balance between efficiency and capability. Also for Ultra, TIT's the largest and most advanced model, excels at multimodal understanding, processing information across text, images, audio, and video, powerful for complex tasks like scientific research, multimedia production, and advanced AI development. Performance and Scalability. When we talk about their performance and scalability, Nano is also the fastest processing for on-device tasks, but limited functionality. Pro scales, well across servers, handling numerous concurrent tasks with good performance while Ultra requires significant computational resources due to its complex reasoning processes, may incur higher costs for large tasks. Memory footprint. When we talk about their memory footprint, Nano requires minimal memory, ideal for low-power devices. Pro uses moderate memory for its diverse tasks, while Ultra operates with a larger memory footprint for complex data processing and reasoning. Use Cases When we talk about their use cases, for Nano we have personal tasks, quick answers, simple applications on mobile devices. Also for Pro we have chatbots virtual assistants, content creation, basic data analysis. While for Ultra for Have, scientific research, complex data analysis, multimodal learning, cutting edge AI development. How do you choose the right model? Consider your specific needs and the complexity of your tasks. Evaluate the available compute resources and budget constraints. For personal use or simple tasks, Nano or Pro might be sufficient. For complex, multimodal, or research-intensive tasks, Ultra might be necessary. Remember, each model has its strengths and weaknesses. Choosing the right one 
depends on your specific requirements and the nature of your work. Now, the spotlight today, though, is on the Ultra model, Google's largest and most powerful model. Host, Google has unveiled a new Gemini Advanced Experience, powered by the Ultra 1.0 model. This marks the first time Google is making its most potent model available to consumers. Big news, right? Now, on to the next exciting update. Google has launched the Gemini app for Android. If you opt in, it replaces Google Assistant, but retains the familiar Hey Google invocation. Unfortunately, no separate app for iOS, but Gemini is integrated into the Google app for iPhone. Gemini is not just limited to personal use. It's expanding its presence to Google Workspace, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Gmail. Imagine having this powerful AI assistant seamlessly integrated into your daily workflow. But here's the catch. To unlock the full potential of Gemini Advanced, you need to subscribe to Google One AI Premium, priced at $19.99 per month. Yes, a bit steeper than the previous tier, but it also brings Gemini to Google Workspace apps. Confused? Uh -huh. Naming things can be tricky, right? It might uh -huh. seem a tad confusing. Anyone can use Gemini Pro, but Gemini Advanced is the higher tier experience, not using Pro, but the Ultra 1.0 model. Simplifying can sometimes bring its own set of challenges. These are the few key reasons for this change. One, showcasing technological advancement. The selection of the name Gemini was driven by a desire to better encapsulate the cutting edge technology embedded within the language model. This name conveys a sense of duality and adaptability, emphasizing the model's capability to address diverse tasks and seamlessly adjust to different contexts. Two, streamlined branding approach. Google aimed to streamline its AI identity under a singular, easily recognizable banner. Gemini now functions as a cohesive brand, unifying the technological backbone that powers various AI functionalities across Google's array of products. 3. Improved user friendliness The adoption of Gemini over BARD was motivated by a pursuit of increased accessibility and user friendliness. With its concise and memorable nature, Gemini stands out as a name that is both straightforward and avoids potential associations with specific historical figures or creative works. Despite the complexities, one thing is clear. Gemini is a massive upgrade from Bard. A new name, a refined experience, and Google's serious commitment to AI. If they want to compete with the likes of Microsoft, this is a step in the right direction. What are your thoughts on this big change? Drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech updates. Until next time, we are Absolute, signing off.